To activate the Lottie Animation widget, simply go to the A-Teams Addons dashboard, use the search field and search for Lottie, and click to activate and save. Now go to your Elementor page, use the search field, search for Lottie again, see the widget here with our logo, and drag it onto your page. You can see a Lottie animation instantly shows up. Let's have a look at the options. So first of all, the source type can be URL, which is the default, or it can be media library, where you upload your Lottie straight into your media library. We're going to leave it like this for now. If you want to see more animations or find a new animation for your website, you can click here. You'll be taken to the Lottie official website. You can see various animations here. You can search and find more. Now let's move on to the settings. There are quite a few settings here, so you can configure your Lottie animation exactly as you want. First of all, you can choose to make it play automatically or not. You can make it play in a loop or a single time. You can make it play in reverse and you can change the speed. Let's say for example, we want to increase the speed. So here it is, it moves much faster. Let's go back to the default speed, which is one. We can change the trigger type. So for example, by default, it plays like this, but we can make it play when the widget is in the viewport or on hover or scroll or on click. Let's see scroll, for example. You can see the widget stays, the lot, sorry, the Lottie animation stays still, but if we scroll down, it moves. Let's see hover, for example. Again, the animation is still, but if we simply hover over it, it starts moving. Same for click. It does nothing by default, but if we click it, it starts playing. Let's just keep it like this. We can change the size. Make it bigger or smaller. You can choose even the rotation if you want. And the render type, which can be SVG or canvas. You can add a custom link to it. And of course, take advantage of all the options here. Now for the styling part, we have just a few styles because not much are actually needed. You can change the opacity. the transition duration and you can add some CSS filters of course you have options for styling in the hover state so you can see how the opacity grows of course you can add CSS filters on hover as well And that's it, thank you for watching.